I'm going to get to uh, now from from uh, J Chime ninety. Uh, one of our one of our Discord diehards. He said, "Did the Flyers miss their chance to get the most value out of Lawton? He had 18 goals last season and is on pace for four this year. He took advantage of being on the power play and being in more of a scoring role. It's like, yeah, he got way more opportunity because no Sean Couturier, yeah. you know, no Cam Atkinson. Okay, I just named two guys in the top six. Yep. Like, it's going to be different. With yep. he's going to have now, a different now you role. Have guys like Tyson Forrester, now Bobby Forrester's Brinko. here, Brink's yeah. here. There's just fewer opportunities. He's not going to have the same kind of season simply because there's no spot. Did they miss that chance? It's tough for me to say because I'm just not sure what his value is around the league. Period. Just because his numbers are down doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't four teams out there that have Scott Lawton on their list of guys that they think, man, for the playoffs, we want to get a guy like that. Like all you need are a couple teams who view Scott Lawton as that missing gritty piece that, that Blake Coleman, that Barclay Goudreau, that's all you need. And just because his numbers are down, like, I don't think any of the teams, let me put it this way. I don't think any of the teams that were interested or could be interested in Scott Lawton looked at his numbers last year and said, if we trade for Scott Lawton, he's going to put up 45 points on our team. Yeah. Like, I think they know that. They know that if he's on a contending team, he's on the fourth line. Maybe at best he is like the third best player on their third line. But that's the reason why they're getting him. They want a guy with those intangibles. They want a guy who can be the Swiss Army knife. Now, is he a little bit less shiny because he doesn't have those numbers this year? Sure. Because you think to yourself, well, man, ne before he was a, a guy who we view as a bottom sixer, but on the shitty Flyers team as a top sixer. Now it's like, well, even on that shitty Flyers team, he's a bottom sixer. Maybe we overrated him. So I guess my answer is maybe. That said, it's still early. I could see Scott Lawton bouncing back, to be sure. He's back in the top nine, at least was in practice today. He might just be off to a slow offensive start. Maybe he goes on a run. Last year, if you remember, he got off to a pretty slow start last year, too. Came on around, I believe it was like December when he kind of got going. And then from there, scored really well for a guy in his role. So I'm not writing off Scott Lawton. I do think that there's a strong argument to be made that maybe they should have traded him last summer. Maybe that was his maximum value. The way they looked at it, though, was that they think Lawton's intangible value to building a culture was more important than maximizing his value this summer and that they could always trade him a few years down the road. I still think he'll have value if they want to move him this summer, if they want to move him at the deadline, if they want to move him two years from now. Is it possible that they missed the boat in terms of getting max value? Sure, but the way they would look at it is that's a worthwhile sacrifice because he was around to help us build the culture we wanted to build. I will say, yeah, it would have been nice to, you know, the rumors we hear, he could have, we could have got a first round pick, maybe even a first round pick plus some other stuff for Scott Lawton. That's, I think that that's a crazy return. I, I, I think it's possible they could have gotten a first. I think the idea that they were going to get a first plus a bunch of stuff is always mean, insane. A for like, uh, when I say a bunch of stuff, I mean, hell J Grons. Mm. Like, okay, a first and then some dude. Okay. Like, I'm just, whatever it was, a first round pick is, is the prize there. I almost look at it. I'm, I'm starting to look at the Lawton situation equal yet opposite to Morgan Frost. Um, did they miss their chance? No, because there never actually was a chance they were going to trade him. <laughs> they look and like Morgan Frost, are they missing out on what he could be? No, because he's not going to make it <laughs> like doesn't matter. Scott Lawton is and you can disagree with this all you want. I think they probably should have traded him. They have this idea that building the culture is, if not just as important as getting the high end talent. It's right there. It's pretty damn important. And if yeah. they're going to do that and he is an integral piece in that, it's like, all right, or we're going to get the 28th pick. Yeah. First, like you're trading him to a team that thinks they can win the cup. Yeah. Now, yeah, maybe like they flame out in the playoffs and like you trade him to Toronto and they lose in the first round because they're Toronto. Yeah. And then uh, you get like the 20th yeah, pick. And you get, but like, it's, <laughs> you know, we, we keep talking about, oh, well, they're draft 16th, who they're going to get. It's like, okay, well, that's what they're getting with the Scott Lawton return. They see the culture they're building as more valuable. So they were never really going to do it. It was, yeah, we're listening. Yeah. And if, it, it would have taken if if we believe the rumors that there was at some point a first round pick on the table for Scott Lawton, 
it's very clear that they were only going to trade him unless somebody like just gave them the moon. Because a first round pick is a darn good return for Scott Lawton on its own. Like that's already that's a great- honestly an overpay. They didn't want to just get an overpay for Lawton. They wanted like an overpay times three. It's unfair to call Scott Lawton a first round bust because he has had he had a good career. He's had a very good career yeah. to this point. Been an integral p- piece of this thing. He's a nice contributor. Good teams want him. Yeah. We're talking about good teams exactly. wanting him. But when you talk about your hope for a first round pick where they drafted him, it's higher than what Scott Lawton has. G- unfairly. Yeah, unfairly. Like, because but, we just think, oh, first round pick has yeah. to be Travis Konechny or better. Like, yeah, and g- it's g- like, given, that's where not the way. He, given where he was drafted, yeah. I think he is good value for where he was drafted. In but terms that was of what 10 years ago. But that is definitely not the feeling that most people have about first, a first round, round picks. Yes. A first round pick is a first round pick. Like if you get a Scott Lawton out of the 20, I think it was like 21st or 22nd overall pick, that's a good outcome. It doesn't feel like a good outcome because everybody looks at that pick and says, well, it wasn't Claude Giroux. Yeah, they didn't get Giroux. They didn't get yeah. Konechny, who they've drafted yeah. in a similar area. It's like, okay, but a first for him, like you said, like you're getting 10 years later what you invested in him. Yeah. That's a decent return. Pretty good return. I just think like... It's just something that's not going to happen for this team. We all silly like the mayor. 